the middle of 2021, and when vaccine acquisition was a problem for, I mean, lower middle income countries, most of the vaccines were left for the rich. And we also had the Indian crisis, and so there was actually no vaccine. It's through that our AU, through the AVAT mechanism, came out with a package of uh, getting vaccines for African countries. And so then, uh, based on our gaps, we asked for 16.9 million doses to be delivered to us. But in managing vaccine and other logistics, expiry date and storage is extremely important. For the vaccine, it is the cold chain facility. Do you have enough capacity to store all those vaccines in your country? That's one. And if you do have them, are you able to deliver them within the period of the expiry of the particular batch that we are getting? So the obvious thing is to secure the quantity you need, stagger the delivery based on space in your your um, coaching capacity. And that is why it's been staggered. Mind you, at that time, too, we had about 20% of our neighboring supply by the COVAX facility. And then soon after that, we also have started having some donate, bilateral donations to Ghana. And uh, I think that came to almost about 15 million doses were given to us through donations. So what you do is that you stagger them. We have so far received 6 million plus. The last 1 million was delivered last week in a situation of the current campaign. And so that's how we've been target to be delivered over the period that we needed. Otherwise, if we took all the 16, we will not be able to deliver them and they will expire. And most importantly, we will not have the cold room space to stock all those vaccines in addition to what we already had. So we've not lost any money. What it means is that they will have to now uh, supply us and when we need it. But of course, um, if you come to a state that I believe they still think that we may not need all that, it can be renegotiated. But that's not uh, for me to decide.